Uh, hi everyone, uh, my name is David Okui, uh, Editor-in-Chief of Dignited, your favorite consumer technology blog. Uh, today I'm doing uh, my first screencast. Uh, it's also probably the first time that most of you are hearing my voice. And, but I'm excited about it. Um, this screencast will be showing you some of the features of the Huawei uh, E5573 uh, Mi 5 from MTN. It's a 4G LTE Mi 5 that we've been using and we've reviewed, and it's totally great. So uh, let's dive right into it. <coughs> so, the first thing that you'll have to do is unpack your Mi Fi and then uh, create um, a hotspot for it. Uh, it will show up on your computer screen. Uh, for my case, I named it uh, Dignited Wi-Fi, connect to it, and uh, once it's connected to your laptop or your computer, uh, then we are ready to go. So you'll have to type in this IP address in uh, your web browser. I'm currently using Chrome. Uh, the IP address is 192.168.8.1. Now you don't need to know what this is yet all you have to know is that it's, it's something that you just have to type in to connect to your 4g LTE my file so once you've done that you'll be presented with this interface uh, that will be showing you uh, a couple of uh, vital signs for your my file and, and also your the network status so currently i'm connected to the 3g network instead of 4g LTE um uh, reviewing I'm, I'm doing this from uh, nigeria so the 4g is on and off so mostly i drop to 3g and you'll see it here full bars as you can see uh, the, the status is connected meaning that i actually have um, the mtn sim card inside uh, the myfi and then uh, up here you will see a couple of icons you will see uh, the sms icon if you have any messages from mtn or carrier you see them here you will see the uh, network signal strength uh, currently the bars are full so i'm on 3g currently you will see uh, whether it's connected to the data network you will see whether wireline is on now that is whether the wireless hotspot is on and then uh, you'll see whether it's charging uh, or it's plugged onto battery <coughs> so uh, this is basically it you can uh, just uh, shut off your device from here you can disconnect uh, mobile data from there and lots of other things so the first thing you want to do is to log into your my file um, just click on that um, so let's log in um, admin there now you'll have to set your own uh, username and password when you set up that device uh, but usually the, the default is admin admin but after that it's advisable that you change uh, those parameters so right now we can get inside and just look at some of the features that uh, my file has you can view the statistics here <coughs> Uh, the statistics that is uh, the the volume of, of data that that you've used uh, using the my I can see here I've used up to uh, close to 10 GB there <coughs> I can see the devices that are connected currently it's only my laptop uh, that they break and then you can also see some of the devices that you have blacklisted you can just blacklist some devices so maybe your brother or sister is messing around and you don't want them to connect to your data anymore you can just blacklist them as well so sms here uh, some of the uh, sms's that will be sent to your device from your network uh, mainly they are all about uh, your data uh, clocking or uh, you've renewed your data whatever it is uh, the messages will come in there and then you have the ussd interface so <coughs> instead of um, plugging out the sim card from the my file and then putting it in, this, in your phone and then uh, dialing star 156 to reload you could actually just send a uh, uh, ussd code using this interface so let's just try that out and see what's going on send um, okay there you go then you can just select 
one so it's the usual ussd stuff that you will find on your phone uh, so from here you can uh, check your data balance you can buy uh, packages you can do lots of other things that you can see here uh, then the update feature you can update uh, the software that runs your my file from here you can check for updates and then install currently i have the latest version so no need for anything and then uh, you this is where you can do lots of tweaking and customization of your uh, my fi uh, i think the most important feature for me is to set the uh, the hotspot name or the ssid uh, hotspot name uh, in my fi as you can see here uh, this you can, you can you can change it to whatever name you want um if it's a home thing you know you can just uh it can be either your 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 cat name or uh, uh your, your your child's name or whatever it is and then also be sure to set the password here for your hotspot so that people don't um tap onto your mobile data <coughs> uh the other there are very very interesting options here that uh, i won't have to go through currently uh, but uh, yeah you can do lots of uh, advanced features here mainly for the games uh, and then uh, lastly you have uh, app management so you can manage uh, this this uh, my five the huawei e5573 uh, using a mobile app as well so here this is where you can download the app you can see the site here or just pull out your phone and scan this QR code so yeah that's 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 it people um, this is the MTN who are we mobile Wi-Fi E5573 uh, web interface um, so yeah that's that's it uh, this is my first webcast uh, i never done this stuff before but uh, i'll definitely love to get any feedback uh, from from you guys uh, so thanks for listening in and uh, see you next time